Welcome to announcements, May 2nd, a B day. Let's start announcements off like we do daily with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, today is May 2nd, a B day. Here are your announcements. First and foremost, cheerleading tryouts are gonna be taking place the third Ooh, and today, so like we're it's finally upon us, cheerleading tryouts both days, 3.15 to 5.30 in the gym. Yeah, you need to be there for both days, which means you'll see Coach Smoke with her welcome back and Coach Schlomer today, uh, right after school, 3.15 in the gym. Artists, the end of the year art show will be held at Frankfurter Festival. That'll be on the 18th of May. So any original art that you've made this year, and it can go to any of our art teachers, 237 and 241 are the big time rooms. You do not have to be present to exhibit your art, but the deadlines to submit is Wednesday the 10th. So make sure you have your stuff in ASAP. Senior Rec Night, remember, seniors, if you missed it or there were an error in the program, you have until May 8th, which is six days from now, to verify some things in the program in case you need a reprint. And you can see the office for any packets that need to be picked up. Bowlers, remember you're having your end of the year meeting. That's on May 10th from three to four. And NCYL is still looking for juniors with that 3.0 and two years of, I'm sorry, and leadership position within the last two years. Make sure you take advantage of that. Ooh, I got events at the bottom here. I got birthdays. Let's do the uh, Warriors of the Week. I'm a little behind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna double feature it. So four Warriors of the Week today. First one is oh the culture and diversity fair. Yeah, and the courtyard from five to seven. That is a big one. Big shout out for that. Um, so first one we've got is Miss. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I should say it this way. It's not Miss Doctor Sizemore. Uh, she has been man. I really enjoy Doctor Sizemore. I mean, I enjoy a lot of our teachers, but man, I really enjoy Doctor Sizemore. Doctor Sizemore is one of those people who professionally has challenged me the most. Like she will come in and pose questions based upon what she's learning about her kids and ask me, how can we make the school better? Um, both in, in her classroom and in the building at large. Um, we had one of those meetings just yesterday. So um, her, her relentless pursuit to make the school a better environment. So students feel more at ease and at home and more inspired and compelled and Energize is just one of the many, many things that I really enjoy about Dr. Sizemore, and that is what I want to share with you today and why she is a Warrior of the Week. Uh, the next one is Mr. Hilton, uh, who, man, Mr. Hilton is a person who just offers, I, I would argue, extremely wise advice. There are times when I, it, it blows me away some of the things that comes out of his mouth, not because he's not an intelligent guy, but you just don't expect it. It, it, it hits you like a ton of bricks. And, and it's from his years of experience of being in our school and in our school district and and where his mind is. I mean, the, the willingness that he has to attend school events, his willingness to take on sponsoring clubs, or his willingness to talk about, man, anything. He even gets my USA Characters Welcome references along with Mr. Sheets. Um, just his ability to understand so much distill it down and make it applicable to other folks is just really, really great. Um, my next one is Mr. Jason Wood. Um, and Mr. Wood is one of those like super involved people at our school. Um, and I appreciate that. So, I mean, when you look at Mr. Wood, he coaches multiple sports. He helps run the weight room. He has multiple clubs, many of which are represented right here on announcements. And he's getting ready to try and launch our esports league, and all with the sole intention of not building the the Wood Empire. But he's doing all of those things. That's right, video club, video game club. That's one of the ones on Friday that gets announced. Um, he does that because he knows how important it is to be involved in kids' lives, so that they can find a place to be supportive here or a place to feel like they can thrive here and build communities. And so, Mr. Wood, I salute you uh, on your willingness to build a community so everyone has a place both in the academic setting and beyond. And last but not least, uh, one of the guys that I've always looked forward to working with um, has, has truly been insightful for me is Mr. Frank Sherman. 
Um, and, and Mr. Sherm has been a person who is devoted to professionalism and the culture of an academic environment. Mr. Wood, uh, not Mr. Wood, I'm sorry, Mr. Sherman, in this case, has been one of the people who's been asking, what's our goal? How do we get back to those pursuits of making students understand and respect and value the academic component of school? What are our expectations? How do we convey that? It's all well and good for where we are now, but how do we get to that next level? And it doesn't matter if it's about the shirt and tie that he's wearing every day or how he's telling people to read books for fun. And we got a lot of folks who could, could aspire to read more for fun. Uh, Mr. Sherman is constantly trying to make us think more about how we can be more academically focused and more professional in this environment, students and adults alike. So my four warriors of the week, thank you for all you do. Today's events, we've got a girls varsity invitational for golf, that's at Hunter's Ridge. We have tennis in action. It's a varsity, is it a varsity doubleheader? No, okay. So our ladies varsity is gonna be in action at City High, whereas our gentlemen will be right here at Washington High School, both versus City High. We'll have JV1 for, uh, for soccer, that'll be versus City West, that will be at West, at Ed Barker Soccer Complex. I like that name, Ed Barker. Uh, our ladies will also have their soccer varsity. That'll be at Kingston. And our um, boys varsity will be at West. All right, last little bit, college visits, none. Birthdays today, we got Jackson Hobble, Marquis Stewart, Holden Smith, Nick Arnold, Chase Trembley, and the man that put down for his name, literally just DK. So happy birthday to our warriors today. Um, awesome collection of individuals. And I would be remiss if I didn't also give a quick shout out for Mr. Glenn Angel, whose birthday it is today as well. Uh, so happy birthday to you, Mr. Glenn Angel, and happy birthday to all our warriors. That's a really cool list of kids and an adult. I mean, he's great too. Um, all right. Food for today. You missed the egg and bacon pizza bagel. Or was that? Yeah, that was this morning. That sounds delicious. But we've got the spud bowl and biscuits. Oh, no, we do have that today. It throws me off a little bit. We're getting the egg and pizza bagel with the mandarin orange cup. But we've also got the spud bowl. We've got uh, the breaded chicken patty on a bun, the supreme pizza, the buffalo chicken pizza, and the chef salad today. And your sides include orange slices, craisins, baby carrots, and the dragon punch veggie juice. Now, that concludes your announcements. Hopefully, they were enjoyable to you. And as we bid you adieu today, remember... It's always a great day to be a warrior. See ya.